Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate empirical formulas given the percent compositions of each one. Now once again you want to make sure that these add up to 100 so let's just do some quick math. See that's 70, 76, and 24, that's 100 so yeah it's right. Now I love these because these are actually easier than the last one that we did but they're also kind of similar. Um, what I recommend you to do is just to keep them in columns. It makes it easier. Um, you've got BA, and they tell us in BA that you've got 69.6%. Uh, uh, but instead of right percent, we're going to pretend that these percents drop off and they turn into grams. So let's do that uh, same thing for carbon. You've got carbon, and we're going to pretend that its percent sign falls off and it turns into grams, so that's 6.09 grams of carbon and the oxygen, same thing on it, on the oxygen uh, they tell us that we've got 24.3% uh, which falls off and change to grams. Now just like in the other problem, we're going to divide these by their respected molar mass so we get them off the periodic table. Okay, So on the periodic table it says that BA uh, PA is 137.33 that's 137.33 grams carbon is 12.01 and the oxygen is of course 16.00 okay now after that we just take a calculator and we divide them okay do do them one at a time. You got uh, 69.6 uh, divided by 137.33. That gives us this number. Now I would keep uh, 36 figs because that's what they're showing. So that would be uh, 0.507, and that would be moles of BA. All right. Now carbon, you divide it. We've got uh, uh, 6.09 divided by 12.01, three six figs. It looks like it's going to be uh, 0 0.507 moles of carbon. Hey, these two match. What a quinky dink. Anyway, moving on. Uh, we got 24.3 divided by 16. And you end up getting 1.51. Now remember, there's only three sig figs, so this one should change to a two. So it should be 1.52. Okay, if you can't read my right, I'll write it again. 1.52 moles of oxygen. Now, once again, you divide by the smallest, which of course is this 0.507 all the way across. Divide this by the smallest, which is 0 0.507. This one by 0 0.507. And this one by 0 0.507. This gives us one BA, which is beautiful. This gives us one carbon, which is absolutely beautiful as well. This one I'm not too sure about. Let's see what it gives us. Uh, we've got 150, oh, excuse me, we've got 1.52 divided by 0 0.507. Look at that. You see that? That is 2.998. What number is that, really? That's the number 3. Okay? So that's going to be 3 oxygens. Now, just remember that when you do this, they're never going to be exact. They're not going to be dead on every time. So sometimes you might get things like this where 2.99 is going to happen instead of exactly 3.0000. So just remember that. Okay, so don't freak out. But just remember that chart that I gave you earlier on a on an earlier problem. This right here is helpful. So make sure you know that. Okay. So make sure you memorize that or you write it down or something to study. It. So anyway, um, we need to write the formula now. So the empirical formula is B A. 1, carbon 1, O3. Hey, we know this formula. This is what? Barium 
carbonate. That's its empirical formula. Alright guys, I hope this one helps and this was the second type of uh, calculation of calculating the empirical formula. Uh, hope this helps.